some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. This is an apology from myself to Thunderfoot and other YouTube users. I confirm that the contents of this apology are true and accurate. My username on YouTube is VenomFangX. As many of you may know, there has been a dispute between Thunderfoot and myself over the past few weeks. We have resolved that dispute, and as part of the resolution, I am here to express my regret for the misuse of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act to serve takedown notices in relation to a number of Thunderfoot's videos on YouTube. In return, Thunderfoot has agreed not to pursue legal action against me or report me to YouTube. I now realize that I should have sought legal advice before acting. When I served the notices, I did not have a clear understanding of what I was doing or the potential consequences of my actions. Like I said, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Yes, and in 15 years, the issues of copyright have not really changed all that much, not even since the days of this little incident right here between Thunderfoot, a.k.a. Dr. Phil Mason, and uh, Sean, a.k.a. Venom Fang X, who didn't like the fact that uh, Thunderfoot was always debunking, uh, well, Sean's childish uh, young Earth creationism arguments that he, he himself had really... Uh, taken from Kent Hovind, whose arguments are equally as bogus. So when Sean decided to go the childish route and uh, file a bunch of, uh, well, takedown notices to Thunderfoot and dressed as the Joker and started laughing like a damn hyena on the internet, well, it didn't look good for him at all. And, uh, well, Thunderfoot did the smart thing and ended up getting a copyright lawyer to help him out and, well, force this little apology out of Sean in the long run. Now, over time, Sean's channel just vanished and it no longer exists, though his videos still float around out there, and Thunderfoot is still very much actively making videos to this day. Now, all this stemmed from uh, Sean's inability to understand the... Uh, Fair use clause in the copyright laws, which does grant everybody the right to transform somebody else's work like Thunderfoot did with on Sean's videos to point out the flaws, to critique them, and, well, send them packing. And this happens to everybody who comes on YouTube and dares make a video. Somebody else is eventually going to come along and tear it apart and make the other person look like a total moron at times. And nobody is exempt from this, not even me. Other content creators have taken my work and decided to try to well, expose me or anything else like that. And But do I care? No. I just move on with my life. I'm not a butthurt little moron like certain people around here. In fact, I know two content creators that have uh, done the same thing with my videos. Cammed up caveman who once uh, used my bachelor's degree to try to prove a point against me or something or another. But I ended up taking that same video of his that he used against me and transforming it into something else. And we all moved on with our lives. And then there was Troll Auditing the Trolls. He made a couple of videos about me. But do I care? Not really. I mean, they, I thought they were funny, but I just moved on with, with my life. In fact, uh, in one of his videos, there was a... Uh, little animation that I liked uh, in it, and I asked his permission if I could use it, and, well, he uh, said it was all right with him. So, point being, if you can't take being on YouTube and take every punch with stride, then you don't need to be on here to begin with. Which brings me to this fucking large pile of maggot shit right here, uh, simply known as Nobody Poor Audits. Now, a few weeks ago, 
he came out with an arrest video where he, well, went to a British police department and made himself look like a complete and total dumbass imbecile and got himself arrested. So roughly about the same time, Frauditor News Network and myself each made a video trashing this guy as both of us tend to do trash the idiots on the internet. So a couple days later, he hits me with a copyright strike. And I'm thinking to myself, maybe I should ask FNN if I if she got one. And sure enough, she did. Frauded her news network and myself ended up finding a butt-hurt little pussy moron who can't take a little bit of criticism. You know what? You should go home and cry to your mama and get yourself a warm glass of milk and some chocolate chip cookies and cry into your little pillow because you're nothing more than a child at this point. A whiny little toddler who needs to be put in his place. But you know what? A few days later, he decides to go after three of the shorts that I made about him. And, uh, well, turn them into one more copyright strike against me. Which, thanks to one that was done by Glenn Serio, made a third copyright strike on my channel, which brought me down for a few days. Now I'm not going to go on a tirade about Glenn Serio because I've got a few shorts about him as well. He's not that vindictive, but uh, this guy is a total pussy. Now what you are about to see is a technical explanation of how much of a moron and total jack wagon this guy is. That he would copyright strike three shorts and make himself look like a complete and fucking tool. Okay, uh, for those of you who are not familiar with certain video editing software, this is the program that I use, a free program known as Caden Live. This is his original video. See how long it is? It is approximately, well, 28 minutes long. My video is something like, well, 18 minutes long. And for expediency purposes, I pre-cut the uh, commentary and his original video, as you can see from those lines right there. Those three videos right there are the shorts that I created that he uh, struck against me. And I have turned off the audio for these videos as well, so that way it, you won't be hearing all sorts of bullshit. Now let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of this commentary right here. I'm going to start pulling down what is my content into this uh, section right here and move along what is his over there. So we can get a better idea of the transformative nature of what is going on. As you can see... It was transformative all the way. As you can see, less than half the freaking video, original video, was even in there. I cut out all the bullshit, all the circular reasoning, and this is what it came out to be. You see how it's looking right here? It's looking like, yeah, less than half of your video, dumbass, was used. So the fact that you lied to YouTube and said that I used the entire thing. Well, that doesn't exactly look good for you now, does it, Bozo? This, this is definitely fair use right here. As you can see, the amount of commentary that I just pulled over there versus the amount of content right there actually used is a substantial portion of the video. It was most certainly transformative in nature. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the shorts. As you can see, I, use, I didn't use that much of your content. Maybe a few seconds out of a 28-minute long video, you dipshit motherfucker. 
Now let's take a look at the next video, shall we? The next short. Oh my goodness, look at that. Only a few seconds worth of your entire video. Once again, you're proven to be a freaking liar. Oh, joyous day. We have another lying frauditor on our hands. And this last video is probably the creme de la creme of the crop. Five seconds of your video out of a 28-minute video that was used. Are you really that inept? Are you really that much of a butt her dumbass. I guess the answer is yes. And I suppose YouTube would agree with me on that as well, considering that they pretty much were upholding the DMCA at this point, according to this short email, that my videos were restored due to a fraudulent DMC takedown notice from you. Which uh, brings up several options. Number one, I could uh, demand an apology from you, just like, uh, well, Ben Fang X had to do for Thunderfoot, and uh, he avoided a lawsuit in that fashion. Or I could investigate the possibility of seeking damages and reparations for you shutting my channel down, for almost two weeks. So I will be gathering more evidence. I will be gathering evidence of the damage that you did to my channel for that period of time. And uh, I will be seeking legal counsel at my own leisure, considering that I am a very busy person. I work generally 10 hours a day for five days a week, and the most free time I'll have in the upcoming weeks will be when spring break rolls around, when school lets out, because I am an educator. Oh, and by the way, if you think I can't uh, figure out who you are, uh, I've got my ways. I will figure out who you are. I've got my connections. I will figure out what your real name is. And if I decide to pursue legal action against you, well, you might as well kiss a few thousand dollars goodbye. So next time you may want to think about who you fuck around with on that little issue right there, my friend. Because it may end up costing you more than you can handle. You get me? So, uh... Well, just be on the lookout for some legal paperwork here in the next few weeks should I decide to go for a uh, legal action. And they will be legitimate uh, legal papers. They won't be the uh, fake ones that you frauditors like to spew out all the damn time. Believe me, they will be legitimate should I go forward. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?